That's how devastating Troy Magnus can be. Merry Christmas, mate. <laughs> So straight away, you might notice that uh, things just look a bit different. Yes, Nick, it looks sort of like one of your videos, but just slightly more shit. So yeah, let's have a go at this vlog type stuff. Well, I thought I would like to share a little bit more about my crazy life, uh, sort of juggling fishing. Uh, and the other things that I have to do. You know, more sort of raw, uncut, behind the scenes type footage, you know. Kind of show you that not everything goes to plan. And this vlog goes back to late autumn, going into winter. So I'm buzzing, look at that. Well chuffed with that. That is a Triton center pin, JW Young and Sons. Um, yeah, awesome. Gonna chuck this on the float rod and go sit and catch a barbel. Look at that, first one on the Glide Triton combo. <laughs> Cracking. Awesome. A stunning barbel. Next time I was out, I grabbed the centre pin again. And this time, I was out to try and catch some chub. Out with Dan. And I'm just doing a bit of trotting of maggots. I uh, didn't expect anything like this. But this bruiser of a chub came along. <laughs> what a cracking fish. So this isn't necessarily the new format of my videos, not at all. Uh, you'll just have to let me know in the comments what you think. Um, just every now and then might drop a vlog that's a bit more like this, less instructional. And uh, yeah, just trying to mix things up a bit. Let me know what you think. Prepping to go and film some perch masters. I thought I'd very quickly show you some of the stuff that I take when I'm going to film those, or indeed going to film anything. So, start with GoPros. To be honest, on perch masters, don't use those much, but certainly do when I'm on my own. Obviously, a decent tripod. There's the camera, the main camera that I use. Got a couple of cameras, but that's the one that I'm using at the moment. Uh, lots of batteries, you know. Um, these are all for the GoPro, and I've got way more than that. These for the cameras, another one in there. Honestly, just constantly. One of the big jobs is constantly charging batteries and constantly emptying off SD cards. Wireless lapel mics there. And we've got a shotgun mic as well. And this is quite important actually, you use it all the time. And that is an ND filter. It's like um, sunglasses for your camera, you know, so that you can open up the aperture, get that nice blurry background, but not overexpose your shots. So an ND, an ND filter. Cut things nearly forgot. Extra lenses on top of the kit lens. Main one being the nifty 50, 50 millimeter lens. So use that a fair amount. And this bad boy, bosh, ah! So yeah, I think the expensive version of these is called the Rhino Beam at night. If you want to sort of get night shots or night video, something like this put on top of the camera will really help you with your photography and your video. That's all the basics that I need um, to be able to do, put videos together. So that's, that's me, that's what I do. And so to Perch Masters. So it's quite a long drive up the country to go and see Ash and spend the day with him, but certainly was well worth the drive. Um, such an incredible angler and uh, played an absolute blinder on the day. And then it was my turn to step in front of the camera as I was doing a perch video for the Coolroom YouTube channel where I was using Flotex lures. 
If you're not seen that video, there's a link on screen now somewhere. Then of course it was back to Perch Masters and an absolute Perch Masterclass from Tom Hunt. So interesting to see how a tournament angler that operates at that level tackled just a, an average stretch canal. Top work by Tom and he finished off with a banging perch as well. Okay so freezing cold, it's getting grim out here now. Um, off down the Cock and Fanny pub to have a look at some lures. So here I am, down my little pub, um, and uh, yeah, I was I was listening to Tom, and it was quite interesting. Yeah, I listened to Tom. That was quite interesting. I was particularly interested in what he had to say about hard baits and particularly crank baits. Only take your crank baits. I'll uh, I'll just take the crank baits. You, you are gonna go back to your confidence baits if you take them. I won't, I won't take the confidence baits. Don't take them with you. <laughs> Tom. I did get a load of uh, hard baits though. I stocked up on some more the rattling hornet. You've seen me use those in other videos. There's another rattling hornet. Yeah, love those. Obviously, Tom was a big fan of these little cranks. That is the Westin Buzz Bite. The weather had started to get a bit too cold. Some would say maybe too cold for cranks, but I don't think so. I was catching fish in the middle of winter last year on crank baits. So, uh, yeah, it had started to get cold. But I was going to stick with the crankbaits and I was hopefully going to get a result. Oh. I look at the bottom. Look at that bling perch. Straight away. It's a nice perch. Literally just change that lure up and a nice perch has come in and hit it. So there we go, look at him cracking on a little crankbait, I just switched to it, the other lure I was fishing with just wasn't diving deep enough, put on a little crankbait and had this one straight away, what a corker. Now that I'd found them with crankbaits, I was ready to now try and pick a few off using my confidence lures. Don't take them with you. There we go, look. Switched to an open jig head after I lost that fish. I've just landed this. Definitely not as big as the one that I lost. They never are, are they? <laughs> there you go, a fish is a fish. Then I was bumping heads with Sam Delasale, as we do. 
Um, and uh, yeah, he decided to come and have a go at them. And uh, just as Sam does, he managed to nail one straight away, this time on a stick bait, and it was an absolute cracker. I was then back filming for Corum again on their YouTube channel. I really got into trotting, as you probably notice, and so I was doing it again, this time with a fixed ball reel, and uh, my main target was chub. Oof. I'm trying to get two in without the first one escaping. That's how devastating trotting maggots can be. Two very good chub. Absolutely incredible. I then had a day out in Dorset, a good crack with Dan as always, uh, on beautiful chalk streams in lovely countryside, catching some absolutely stunning grayling. So we sort of like came into late November, early December, and the temperatures really dropped. And so I was back on the case to try and catch some perch. There we go. Fish on. Feels like a reasonable one as well. Whoa. Just coming into dusk. And we got this fella. He's probably not quite two pound, but how proud he is on a little nimble just as we go into dusk for the rest of the session i struggled to get through to the perch and just caught a few pike Okay, so I'm having a bloody nightmare, look, and this is why, look, look at that, snow everywhere, <laughs> uh, I'm having a nightmare because of perch masters, um, I, you know, I think, I don't know if people realise what, what it is, it's, you know, we don't want to do it at weekends, the banks are too busy, so we try and do it during the week, which means I've got to take time off work, the angler got to try and take time off work, which means we're trying to coordinate calendars um, and the weather has got to play the game as well. So this goes back to November. Uh, I've got some really decent guys scheduled in uh, to bring to you. Um, and yeah, we have one scheduled in for mid-November and back then it was a load of rain. So a shed load of rain came in. I don't know if you remember, but all the rivers flooded, making it you know really difficult to fish. Not only that, if there's even a start, a slight whiff of damp or rain in the air, it just makes life really hard for me. And um, we had to postpone some back in November, rescheduled them for now. Sure enough, a load of snow, <laughs> which uh, means that I, I'm a bit um, unsure about traveling, you know, driving all that way uh, in such bad conditions. Um, I reckon the anglers would probably still land fish, even in conditions like this, because they're that good. But they're probably like me, only nipping out for an hour or so every now and then. You know, you don't really want to be out all day in weather like this. And filming Perch Masters is a whole day. You know, it's very stop, start, stop, start. You know, that's the other thing is they're only actually fishing about 50% of the time. Otherwise, I'm making them do B-roll or, or going through their lures and all the rest of it. So it is asking a lot of them. But yeah, so... Um, had some scheduled in for now, I had to cancel them as well. I'm absolutely gutted and really frustrated that I've not managed to get another one done before Christmas. Um, but I've had a word with the guys. Um, it looks like we're going to be out of shooting in January. Um, but yeah, it, 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 this is this is what it can be like. It, it is a bit frustrating. So this is a bit loopy. <laughs> this is what it can be like. Look. Got my Christmas tree up. I've just got a phone call from Sam. He's just got a chunk in the net. <laughs> um, but it's thick with snow outside. The guy's a lunatic. Uh, 
he wants some pictures taken because apparently it's a proper big and thinks it might be a four pounder. <laughs> so I've got to de-ice my car and get on the road and sort the camera equipment out. <laughs> it's not even daylight. Uh, what a nutter. Uh, let's see if we can go and photograph this fish for him then. Go, it's a camera. Oh, I'm in the middle of editing something. I get a phone call from him. There's a camera, let's go and see if we can photograph it for him. I mean, look. We <laughs> got the camera. Look at the road. Sam, this is asking a lot, mate. Look, I haven't defrosted the car for a couple of days. <laughs> right, let's see how we get on. at all. I can't see out this window. Me. Look, it won't even go down. The window won't go down. Oh, bloody hell. Even just getting off the drives a bit. Mm. Might be stuck already. Sam, this is a bit sketchy, mate. Ditch the car. <laughs> and I'm on the way to see Sam. Look how it goes up. It's a proper test of love, this, mate. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's more mental. You, uh, you for being out here fishing or for me coming to film it. Mate, it's worth it. I think this is a special yeah, bitch, mate. Yeah, I think so, mate. <laughs> oh, cut looks cut the lunatics. <laughs> <laughs> That grainy, that is. <laughs> oh man, I just witnessed something absolutely tragic. I'm gutted, absolutely gutted for Sam. He's gone to pull the fish in, in the net, and the net head has come off in the water. So he's just stood there holding the landing net handle while the net sinks with the perch in it. He almost scoops it out with the handle, but the fish escapes. Honestly, just painful. Painful to watch. Absolutely gutted for Sam. Uh, we'll never know what that was. I think it's cold weather where the glue was holding the net in. Uh, and the glue had gone solid. And uh, somehow it, 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 it's fucked up and the net came off and the fish got away. Oh, gutted. I'm gutted. It just didn't make sense. One little bit. Just gonna have to do what I can to get one. Keep going, keep trying. Gutted. Right, vaccine boost. Got to go and have my booster. Get the shoes on. Got to have decent shoes for the snow, aren't we, George? What you saying? Don't know about the socks tucked in like that. Look like a right dick. What the hell am I doing? Little state of car, look. I've got my gloves in my hat and whatnot, look. Or bait tubs down here, look. Some lures. <laughs> this stuff's decent. I'm gonna try that. Oh, God, look. Oh, back seats. What a nightmare. The windscreen wash ain't working. I think it's all iced up. <laughs> So, right, that's me all boosted up. I'm definitely going to be going fishing. <laughs> Must be mad. Still very snowy. Can't go today, can't go tomorrow, but I'm going the day after, whether this snow has melted or not. Just got a message through on my phone just now that Sam has had a four pound one ounce perch out of the river. And now after what happened the other day, I gotta say, I'm over the moon with that. I'm so pleased. Um, you know, it just does go to show that if you keep going, you keep trying, the river will pay you back. Yeah, minus five. What an absolute idiot. <laughs> Woo! Let's go 
Don't fish in. So, here we are. We're in the car. Well, we put a lot into our fishing, don't we? I mean, look, it's very early morning. About five o'clock. Pitch black. Freezing cold. <laughs> Heading to our fishing spot. Yeah, I know I'm an idiot. <laughs> Minus five on the canal. Uh, we came out at first light. Uh, Christmas jumpers on. <laughs> um, yeah, most of the canal's frozen. Look, it's bloody frozen. Whole canal is frozen. Well, not whole canal. We found a little hole. <laughs> Gonna try and catch them in the in a hole in the ice. Come down, <laughs> twitch it. Just like to bump yeah. it along the surface there. Love, love, a, love a surface lure at this time of year. <laughs> finesse, finesse. I don't know why we didn't even think of that. Of course it would be, minus five. We've managed to find a section that's not frozen, so we're going to give it a go. Don't expect much, but you never know. Everyone loves getting up early and going out in the freezing cold to catch a foul hooked bream. <laughs> For fuck's sake. It's a perch. It's a perch, mate. <laughs> How are we catching these, Dan? Here you go, mate. Thank Quality. you, mate. <laughs> It's actually covered in ice. Incredible. Just shows that you can catch them. It is possible, even when it's freezing cold. That's on a little nimble, but fish really slow. <laughs> and a lovely perch. I, th I, I think it's a bit of... Rope, rope. It's a bit of boat, I think. <laughs> there we go. Dab. Minus five. What's happening? Not the floor. <laughs> Minus five. <laughs> and what we got? Not bad. We got one in there. And we got another one in there. Decent. Look at that. <laughs> Not bad at all <laughs> considering. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a, had a fish each. Decent. Look at that one. And a squirm. Really slow, no surprise, freezing cold. <laughs> minus, minus five ain't gonna stop us, is it? Nah, numb fingers, can't feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes on the rod keep icing up. <laughs> yep. But we're out here doing it, catching perch, look at that. Decent, absolute quality. <laughs> Merry Christmas, mate. <laughs> I didn't expect that, uh, not in a million years. And yeah, both me and Dan both got a perch. Uh, and a foul at Bream, let's not forget that. But uh, yeah, I think that probably is us done here. <laughs> I got a question for you, Dan. How, how early is too early to go to the pub? Oh, mate, I don't know. I mean, when's they open? <laughs> they open at 11. It's well, been open five minutes. Well, technically that's not early then, is it? No, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's not like, you know, we're not desperate. We're not no, waiting no, on the no, front no. doorstep or we're anything. We're a bit, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> right, pub time. <laughs> Do you want to so that's the Christmas vlog. Um, but I've not shared absolutely everything with you there. Uh, if I'm honest, uh, because uh, unbelievably, whilst all this has been going on in the background, um, I've been doing a bit of a campaign on a very big lake, a big still water, quite a challenge. But to be honest, some of the results I've had there have been absolutely incredible. But I might just have to share that with you another day. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>